Hey guys, how's it going today? I don't know about you, but it is beautifully fall out here today. Absolutely beautifully fall. And the leaves are starting to come down off the trees and there's color coming in all over. And I just I love this time of year. Absolutely love it. Part of me is really bittersweet because all of my plants are going dormant or passing away because they're annuals and that's sad, but it's so relaxing. It's so wonderful out and it's just, I can't even describe it. It's my favorite season. Fall is my favorite season. So you can kind of see some of my plants back there still hanging on. We still got some that are giving me some fall color, which is nice, even though they uh, they aren't going to make it very much longer, or all their leaves will be gone, and that's a whole other thing. But I thought I would go on a walk here out with you guys and Bella. Bella's out here exploring. This is the best for her. I know this isn't super garden related, but you know sometimes it's nice to just go for a walk. You know. Just go and enjoy the trees and the, the bushes and everything that's just kind of happening around you and just take a breath and relax a little bit. So this is kind of fun. Bella loves to come all the way out here so I'll give you kind of a spin. My uh, backyard is really long. It goes to this fence line back here. and. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited for everything that we're going to do here this next year. Um, if you guys have missed some of my other videos and some of my other explanations, I have a half acre here in Kansas City and it is amazing. It's so wonderful. I absolutely love it. It makes me so happy and it makes my dog happy too. She's out there exploring. There she is. There she is. <laughs> she loves coming out here and just running around and seeing everything and whatnot. So, yeah, it's been a it's it's been a wonderful few months. There are a few things that I have been working on trying to get rid of um, and cleaning up. So all the fence line has got a lot of brush around it, and there's a couple of things that I'm really kind of hoping I'm not going to fight for very long. So. Let me walk over here and show you what one of these things are. Um, it's pretty common from what I can see in mean, like some of the gardening community forums that I'm on, but it's not something I want in my yard. It's actually in my neighbor's yard because I cut all mine out and this one I guess I have missed because it's just colored up in the last week, but let me turn the camera around and show you. So there it is. That is pokeberry, which I have been working on getting rid of. I've cut a bunch of it. It's mostly along this fence line over here. And there's some in the back where I noticed some squirrels have been kind of hanging out. But this one is, this one's not as big as some of them I've seen. Some of them have been really big and some of them have been really itty bitty, just kind of growing along the ground. But if you have any suggestions on how to best get rid of this besides cutting it and bagging it and trying your best to pull it out, let me know because for real like I don't want this in my yard and I'm trying to prevent having more so this one I think I'm gonna come back and snip um, here probably in the next day or so before any more of this stuff starts to fall down here or you know something eats it so anyway let me know what you think if you guys have ever experienced this particular plant before so that's what one of the things I've kind of been working on and then just kind of general cleanup. Um, there was a number of down limbs and stumps and all kinds of things left for me by the prior owner when I took over from her. I've got a giant pile of wood um, behind my shed that is really unsightly, really unsightly, not going to show you. Um, but. You know, it's one of those things I actually like a lot. I really enjoy. So I'm looking forward to doing a lot of clean out out here and trimming up a lot of these things that are kind of scrubby 
have a nice clean fence line so that way I can start planting out flower beds. Um, yeah, so anyway, I know this is kind of simple, it's kind of short, I know we're not doing a whole lot of actual like digging and gardening right now, we've just been busy over here, Bella and I. She's been busy making sure that all these squirrels know exactly who's boss in this yard. And uh, <laughs> I've been busy working inside on the remodel. There's just, there's a lot. This old house has got a lot of things that need to kind of be updated and fixed and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of my gardening plans this year have kind of gone by the wayside, which is a little bit disheartening in some ways, but super exciting in others. So, hoping to have another video out for you guys here at the end of the month. Talk about something that you can do here in November for your gardens, um, even if it's an indoor garden, which are sometimes some of the best, because then you never have to lose them, you know, unless you're just a chronic succulent killer right here succulent killer um, <laughs> I have a few I have a few that continue to work for me but for some reason I kind of struggle with them cactuses I do really well with but succulents they get a little bit fussy and I don't know if it's just because of where I've been or there's too much humidity or I water them too much or what I just don't know but anyway yeah that's kind of my walkabout um, just wanted to say hi and, and see how things are going for you guys um, I will say I think that it has been a really wonderful season even though there's been a lot of changes and a lot of transformation and all of the projects that I planned for my garden have kind of gotten shoved off to the side I'm looking forward to next year and I'm looking forward to all of the beautiful things that we're gonna get to plan together so I hope you guys are all having a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!